my name is Zan Ta, and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk Certified Instructor, and I hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we will be looking at how to import 2D AutoCAD files into Revit for the purposes of creating a 3D Revit model. Here I am in a standard architectural Revit project. In order to bring in a uh, AutoCAD file, we go to the Insert tab of the ribbon. We can either link in a CAD file or we can import in a CAD file. The options are the same. The only difference is that linking a CAD file puts a physical link to the file, so should the file change, you can reload the CAD file and it will update accordingly. In this example, we'll go ahead and click Import CAD. Your dialog box will pop up and it will ask you to open up the file that you need to uh, gain access to. We can select the file that we want to work with. Now when you are inserting a file, there are a couple things we want to make sure we understand. One is make sure the CAD file, you understand if it's 2D or 3D. If it's a 3D CAD file, then you want to make sure your current view in Revit is the default bracket 3D bracket file uh, view. <clears throat> if it's a 2D file, you want to ask yourself, what kind of 2D file is it? Is it a floor plan? Is it an elevation? Is it a section? Is it a detail? And make sure you insert it into the proper view. So in this example, I'm going to be placing an, a 2D floor plan AutoCAD file into the level 1 view of the Revit model. I single click to select the CAD file, and down here in the options toolbar, we have a lot of choices. If you double click the file, it will open up the CAD file and insert it into the Revit model with all of these settings, whatever they were last saved as. So single click so you can make the changes that you need. If you click current view only, then that means the CAD file that you bring in will only show up in this particular view. In this example, I want to be able to see it in any view, especially the 3D view, so that when I start creating the 3D model content, I have some context. In AutoCAD, uh, we work with colors. So in uh, Revit, it asks us if we want to invert the colors, preserve them, or make them black and white. I usually like to pick preserve so that I can see the color CAD information against the black and white Revit content. In regards to layers, AutoCAD has layers. Revit doesn't work with layers other than the layer makeup of a system family. So here it's asking us if we want to bring all the layers in, only the visible layers that we see in the CAD file, or specify to bring up a dialog box. I typically choose specify so I can check and uncheck what I want and don't want to bring in. For the units, if you leave it at auto detect, the software will figure out what the units are of the CAD file and do the conversion for you as it comes into the Revit model. The positioning, we can choose automatic center to center, automatic origin to origin, or manually place it. If you place it as automatic center to center, it's with the understanding you're going to move the CAD file because the center of a CAD file is usually never the same as the center of a Revit model. In regards to picking Auto Origin to Origin, it's with the understanding that you are placing the AutoCAD's 000 insertion point origin into Revit's 000 insertion point. And if you place this choice, if you choose this one, uh, it makes sense for down the road as things get updated and changed. The 000 of Revit, by the way, is actually where the center point is of these four elevation markers are. There are a couple other datums that we'll work on and talk about in another screencast. Once you've set, oh, by the way, you can also click correct lines that are slightly off axis, and this is because sometimes in AutoCAD, somebody forgets to turn ortho on, and the lines are not drawn perfectly horizontal or vertical. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit open, and the CAD file will come into the software. So once the file is in, you can go ahead and choose and uncheck what you want and don't want to bring in. So for example, I'll just randomly pick a few things and hit OK. 
and now my CAD file is in. It's an imported symbol, so you can put your mouse over it. You'll see that it's a solid box. If it's a dash box, it's a group. Once it's placed, you can look at it in all the different views, and now you can use it as a frame of reference to draw. So for example, in the architecture tab, I can use the wall command, pick something, say, generic 12 inches, and we'll go to place it. We'll specify going to level 2 for now. We'll place it finished face exterior, and we will draw them. And as you notice, it also will snap to the actual cat file. And you're using the cat file to trace, in essence, and building your 3D model this way. And that's it. That's how you bring your 2D cat file into Revit. Thank you for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.